A breaking fossil discovery in Ethiopia has put a face to humanity's origins. This skull is 3.8 million years old. It belongs to a species called Australopithecus anamensis, or southern ape in English. It's also a likely common ancestor of modern humans. This specimen establishes, or it gives us the first glimpse of what the craniofacial anatomy of Australopithecus anamensis looked like. Compared to humans, this species was much smaller, under four feet tall, with small and primitive brains closer to modern apes than humans. Despite that, they worked simple stone tools. This is really um, a game changer in a lot of ways and answers old questions that we've had lingering around for decades. And uh, we got the answers now from this beautiful specimen that we found. What makes the skull so groundbreaking? It is thought to be the ancestor species of the most heavily studied protohuman discovered in Ethiopia in 1974, an Australopithecus afarensis named Lucy. But the age of the skull suggests the two species lived at the same time as each other. That means early humanoid hominin species didn't transition one to another from a single ancestor. The ancestor, the potential ancestor of Australopithecus anamensis, and its descendant of Australopithecus afarensis actually overlapped in time, at least 400,000 years between 3.9 and 3.8 million years ago. The skull is critically important for learning evolutionary details like brain size and diet. The food early man and his ancestors ate is believed to have massively influenced the development of human cognition. The new find will likely be a topic of debate among scientists for decades, but perhaps can explain the great mystery of where humanity came from.